All right, it's almost uh, 742 right now. Dangerous storm hits Massachusetts. It has knocked out power, hurt a lot of people, too. Let's check in with Katie Byrne with Fox Weather. She is outside in Boston with an update on how things are looking out there. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Terrence. Yeah, this was a massive storm system, and unfortunately, we know uh, at least two people have died because of it. In Maine, a man in his 40s was hit by a tree while he was trying to clear some of the debris off of his roof. And here in Massachusetts, in Hanover, a town right next to where we are today, a man uh, who was 89 years old was in a trailer when those strong winds knocked down a tree onto that trailer, trapping him inside. So this is just tragic. The week of Christmas, people are now dealing with this loss of life and hundreds of thousands are still without power. You can see this is the scene of many streets here uh, in the Boston suburbs today. You're going to see wires down. You're going to see trees cut. A lot of crews have been out working through the night trying to get a handle on the power situation. 70% of this town, Norwell, Massachusetts, is without power. And you can see we've got generation uh, generators running right over here with this wire still down. So this is the situation and it's a lot colder today. Temperatures dropped about 20 degrees since yesterday. So people are likely dealing with the power outages uh, while they are still feeling pretty cold because of those temperature drops. So crews are gonna be working likely for multiple days to restore power here across the state of Massachusetts and in the state of Maine where more than half of the customers in the entire state are still without power. More than 400,000 people still without power there. So a lot of work still left to be done. Kids don't have school in various school districts across the state of Massachusetts today, including in the town that we're in of Norwell. There's some shelters set up so people have somewhere warm to go and charge their phones. But we're talking to a lot of residents who are getting a bit concerned about how they're going to get ready for the holiday, if they're hosting, how they're going to cook a meal, uh, if they don't have power restored in the next couple days. And then business owners say this is usually a huge week for them with kids coming home from college uh, and this they usually are you know making a ton of money and having a lot of food for sale. But unfortunately, they're not able to open today because of those outage issues. So. It is just a bummer for a lot of people who are trying to get a handle on this and then you have to deal with the also tragic loss of life the week of Christmas. Just no news any family wants to be hearing right now. Yeah, Terrence. Just awful that lives were lost. Katie, thank you so much. You can get all of Katie's reports and full weather coverage through the Fox Weather app. It's all free. You can find it in Google Play or the App Store. You can also scan the code, the QR code you see right there on your screen uh, with your smartphone and download it right now.